Is the Pathetic Fallacy True? A poem by Elizabeth Brewster. Why did I choose this poem? Initially, I was drawn to this poem because of the rhythm. This made the poem flow perfectly. I appreciate the author's ability to, to describe nature and use of pathetic fallacy. I found the poem was relatable. It captured the wonder we used to feel as children, but also talked about how we slowly lose this. I admire the author's ability to speak the truth. The poem reminded me of how we would make funny faces in pictures when we were younger. As we got older, we wanted to look good or we would, didn't want to seem immature. So we stopped making faces. We would just smile. However, this all comes full circle because as we get even older, we, stop, we start making funny faces again because we stop caring about what other people think of us. We finally look inside ourselves for approval. We see this in the poem as well. When Elizabeth discusses the wonder she used to feel as a child in the first stanza, but discusses losing it later in the poem. All false, all wrong, somebody told me. By the end of the poem, Elizabeth examines how she is beginning to feel this sense of wonder again. Nevertheless, something lately, sometimes lately, when I touch a chair or table, I think I feel Adam stir under my fingers. I feel the main theme of the poem was innocence, and Elizabeth succeeded in capturing this. I chose this poem because of the theme. I feel aging is a wonderful thing. You learn and experience so many different things. You reach so many incredible milestones. However, aging is also scary and numbing. You forget about the little things that once brought you happiness. You care too much and don't imagine enough. You lose all innocence. You're faced with a world that can be cruel and unforgiving. We're met with an unbearable amount of expectations. We live in a world where grades matter more than the information we're learning. We are forced to let go of all the qualities we had as children, good or bad. And we trade it in for responsibility, ridiculous expectations, and unnecessary stress. This was a simple and short poem, but it captured an incredibly broad theme. This poem expresses something most adults will say several times in their life. I wish I were a kid again. At the end of the description before the poem, we are asked two critical questions. One, based on your experience, how would you explain the phrase, a sense of wonder? I, I believe a sense of wonder is the creative ability children hold. The ability that helps them imagine incredible scenarios, unique new games, and wonderful dreams. But this ability also aids in the illusion of monsters and nightmares. Children are unbelievable inventors. One of the definitions of the word wonder is something amazing. A definition of sense is the ability to appreciate something. When you break down exactly what a sense of wonder is, the poem's meaning unfolds in front of you. Children had this, have this unconceivable ability to appreciate something amazing. Children are often happy for no reason, see joy everywhere they go, and take time to stop and just be. Children have a better sense of wonder because they take the time to stop and appreciate the world around them. The second critical question is, why do you think this sense of wonder either increases or decreases as you get older? I think as you get older, your sense of wonder first decreases and then increases. I believe the reason our ability to appreciate something amazing decreases with age is because we become captured, caught up in our everyday life. We're never thinking about the little things. We only think about the big picture. We're so caught up in things that haven't happened yet that we forget about what is happening right in front of us. We dismiss the small, everyday joys. We will see the switch flip again as we become elderly. This often happens when we find extra time on our hands. Extra time is often found at this age after your children have moved out or you retired. The sense of wonder hat the sense of wonder one has as a child increases and decreases several times. But this all depends on the expectations placed on someone at different points in their life. Most responsibilities require a person's full and undivided attention. When you are so focused on the future, it is difficult to remember the little details.